The last time you left, I only had one door up. This time I have all of the doors up and I found a way to improve upon the Carolina Coupes model. So let's get right into it so I can show you what I did. My name is Fran and you are watching Officially Fran. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Okay, so I got the doors worked out. They just need a whole bunch of finessing. But check this out. The one thing that I did different in Carolina Coops is my carabiners are all on chains because I'll take this off and lose it. Now, I don't have to worry about that. This one opens. Oops, wait a minute before I open that one. I don't have a handle here yet, but here's the screen one. Here's the screen one. Let me step back so you can see it. That's the screen one. Then I close this back, and these are some monster windows. I think I made them too big, but hey, got the space, I'm using it. Okay, like that. So then I do these and open these up. And now the whole thing is open, and I have the clean out. Bam, that took me forever. Everything is just as jimmy rigged as can be, but I got it. Let me close it all back up. This is how I attached the chain. I took a S hook, opened it up, bent it around the carabiner, took some pliers and closed it back, added the chain to it. At the bottom of it, I have it on there with just a screw right now but I did end up finding um, some small eye hooks that I had around the house to attach that to the eye hook. So plain and simple, $2. You know where your carabiners are every single time. You are looking for them, no putting them in your pocket. I also had to attach some um, hook and latches to the back sides of the doors to keep them from flying open. And it was simply put the hook on to the main frame of the door to hold it open. And then I went back and put another hook on so that it would hold open the inside door. That way the big doors could stay closed so that just the screen part is open right there. The sheetrock was laying around the property, something else that they left here. So I laid the pieces out on the floor to see um, how many I would need. They left plenty of it here which was good for me because I was looking for something to put on the floor and I couldn't make up my mind on what, so this will work. So I just started to attach those pieces to the floor. That way, whoever was living in there, um, they not only have to get past the hardware cloth that wraps around the coop, but then they have to get through the wood on the floor and then they'll have to get through the sheetrock. So they're gonna be some nibbling souls trying to get inside of there to get at my birds. Sorry, that is cement board and not sheetrock. And then I did a little clean up. So what do you think? I'm getting there, right? So here's what's next. Building the nest boxes, putting the stops in on the inside of these doors so that they don't swing in and framing out the inside. I can't wait to show you guys what I come up with next. Thanks for watching Fran at Officially Fran. See you next time.